Good day everyone! What will you see in this presentation? We will start with the story of the project, how exactly it was introduced to the world. Then, the largest part of my presentation, 10 slides of white paper analysis. Third part is we will cover the main criticism of EOS project and its advantages. At the end, we will check how exactly EOS was able to deliver on its promises and what team has achieved so far. I would like to start by telling you how EOS was introduced to the world. And I cannot tell you this before explaining who Daniel Armieri is. Dan founded two quite popular projects, BitShares and Steemit. Steemit, which is like Medium blog, but you get paid for articles in cryptocurrency, currently stands as 1008 most popular website in the world, up from 20,000 in April 2017. Quite amazing, isn't it? Also, Steemit has $400 million in capitalization. BitShares is another dance project. It is decentralized digital exchange on blockchain and stands at $300 million in capitalization. At some point in both projects' lives, Daniel decided to quit and create other projects. This other project is EOS, and it was unveiled to the world in May 2017. During this time, EOS created its, so its social media accounts, and many people saw the first teaser of EOS on YouTube. It is interesting to note that many people got interested, many investors, because Daniel Lermer's participation usually leads to increase in your wealth if you participate in his projects financially. Uh, but the hype really started after Daniel Ramirez's presentation of EOS on Consensus 2017. Uh, by the way, first time I noticed this presentation was due to my subscription to the Russian crypto YouTuber, who translated Dan's presentation into Russian. Video was watched by about 40,000 times. I get curious and watched the original. I was impressed with the quality of presentation and EOS project. Judging from the inflow of people to EOS social media platforms, I wasn't the only one. As you may know, I am a huge Ethereum maximalist, but EOS promised to do the same things as if, but better. And at this time, <clears throat> I thought that EOS could finally be the real competitor to Ethereum. Blockchain Capital, Fanbushi Capital, UNB and Bitfinex were initial investors into EOS project. Participation of this kind of high-quality funds and digital, digital exchanges can tell a lot about the quality. Uh, currently, the project is developing at a very fast speed by Block One, a Cayman Islands company. I have a lot of slides uh, which almost completely disclose the project from all sides. So if you truly want to understand this project, take a seat and let's go. As you know, each project in, in the initial coin offering space is trying to solve certain problems. EOS is no exception. First and foremost, first and foremost, scalability. Bitcoin and Ethereum in their current form cannot process number of transactions that could accelerate cryptocurrency mass adoption. During the most busy days in December 2017, even Ethereum was unusable. Next big problem is certainly user fees. During ICOs, investors had to pay thousands of US dollars in fees to be in time for the most promising ICOs. Ease of deployment, ease of, deployment uh, of decentralized applications is another big thing. DApps are clearly in need of becoming easier to create and deploy on blockchains. By creating the environment where it is easier to create smart con contracts, we always should think about funds' safety. What are the main targets of EOS? Team thinks that in order to become the best in the smart contract space, they need to support the usage of the network by millions of users, make transaction fees non-existent, make it easy to upgrade and recover from bugs, make the blockchain network as fast to process millions of transactions per second. What algorithm must be adopted to make the network that will be able to process so many transactions? Delegated proof of stake is the consensus algorithm that can do that. What are the main features of this consensus? 
continuous approval voting system is used to select block producers. Yep, you will vote to decide who block, uh, who block producers will be. Also, you must understand that by voting, you give your right to vote to certain block producer. Later, block producers will vote on different topics using your vote. This is what delegated boss is. If you don't like how block producer acts, you can vote him out. Block producers could produce blocks proportional to the total votes they received. Blocks produced each 3 seconds plus one producer is authorized to do it any time. Each round 21 unique block producers are chosen. Top 20 by total approval are automatically chosen. Last chosen according to number of votes. Selected producers are shuffled using pseudo-random number derived from the block time. Also, I would like to give you uh, five interesting facts that are necessary to remember while using delegated boss. If fork happens, consensus will automatically switch to the longest chain. Transaction can be considered confirmed with 99.9% .9 certainty after one fifth of seconds of a second. For absolute safety, node may choose to wait for confirmation from 50 nodes. After two consecutive missed blocks, there is 95% probability that a node is on minority fork. Every transaction includes the hash of recent block header to prevent replay attack. Another big thing is that is liked by many EOS investors is how accounts will function in this blockchain. <coughs> EOS concentrates on making accounts easy to use, easy to create, transaction fee free and safe. Other features of accounts on EOS. All accounts can be referenced by unique human readable name of 2 to 32 characters in length. For example, if I can be fast enough, I can create crypto portfolio wallet in EOS. So you will be able to donate me by sending tokens by writing correctly my name. Accounts must be funded with minimum account balance at the time they are created to cover the cost of storing account data. Yep, user fees are non-existent, but account must have tokens to function. Application developers will pay the nominal cost of account creation to sign up a new user. That's like business acquires customers through advertisements. Permission management system will give accounts fine-grained and high-level control over who can do what and when. Every account may be controlled by an innovated combination of other accounts. You can have one family account that can be used by any family member. Another great thing is how EOS protects accounts. You can make delayed transactions. This way, if somebody is trying to send tokens from your account to other wallet, you will receive notification to your email uh, that, for example, tomorrow your money will be transferred uh, from this to that account. It will give true owner of account time to restore his wallet and cancel unwanted transaction. If keys are stolen, account owner can use any other key along with approval from designated account recovery partner to reset control of account. How does EOS achieve scaling? Parallel processing capabilities bring continuous scalability and reliable high performance. Block producer organizes message delivery into independent threads so they can be evaluated in parallel. When a script generates a new message, it doesn't get de delivered immediately. It is scheduled to be delivered in the next cycle. Uh, it cannot be delivered immediately because the receiver may be actively modifying its own state in another thread. Latency is time it takes for one account to send a message to another account and then receive a response. The goal is to enable two accounts to exchange actions back and forth within a single block. This is the most interesting part for investors, economy of EOS. Let's start by recognizing the main resources that are consumed by decentralized applications, smart contracts. Bandwidth, 
and log storage. Blockchain maintains a log of all messages and this log is ultimately stored and downloaded by all full nodes. Computation and computational backlog. Computational debt is calculations that must be performed to regenerate state from the message log. If the log becomes too large, then it becomes necessary to take snapshots of the blockchain state. State storage. It is information that is accessible from application logic. It includes such things as order books and account balances. Uh, and the foundation of EOS, block producers publish their available capacity for bandwidth computation and state. Each account is allowed to consume a percentage of the available capacity proportional to the number of tokens held in a free day staking contract. Algorithm used here is close to the one that is being used in Stimit. There are six most important economic facts about EOS. Receiver pays, even though EOS doesn't require its users to pay directly. Delegation of capacity. Owner of tokens can rent out unneeded capacity. Separation of transaction costs from token value. The amount of bandwidth available to an application is independent of any token price. EOS enables producers to increase power and awards producers tokens every time they produce a block. State storage costs. Every user account requires a certain amount of storage, so every account must maintain a minimum balance. Block rewards. Block producers will receive about 5% of annual inflation in tokens. This is how block producers are compensated when users don't have to pay transaction fees. Community benefit applications. Users can elect free applications, smart contracts. Those smart contracts will receive tokens of up to a configured percent of the token supply per annum minus the tokens that have been paid to block producers. How important is governance? Absolutely important. Governance is the process by which people reach consensus on subjective matters that cannot be captured entirely by software algorithms. Power originates with the token holders who delegate that power to the block producers. The block product producers are given limited and checked authority to freeze accounts, to update defective apps, to propose hard forks. 15 out of 21 block producers needed to freeze accounts and change code. There will be terms of service agreement and uh, or a binding contract among uh, those users who sign it, referred to as constitution. The content of this constitution defines obligations among users which cannot be entirely enforced by code. Each time you make a transaction, you automatically sign the constitution of EOS. EOS team understood the importance of decentralized file storage, so they created one more white paper, but for EOS storage software. What is it? EOS storage is a decentralized file system designed to permanently store and host files accessible by any browser. To store a file, user simply needs to put in a refundable deposit. Block producers will be hosting all this data for those who hold tokens on blockchain. The same file will have the same name on every computer. The contents of the file cannot be changed without changing the name. 5% inflation covers micropayments for storage. Top 25 block producers must possess a high level of bandwidth availability. EOS storage hosts only public data. Users who need privacy need to apply encryption algorithms. Some interesting facts from FAC of EOS. Block 1 will not launch any public blockchain platform adopting EOS.EO software. Someone from community has to do it. EOS token distribution on Ethereum network started on June 26, 2017 and will end 341 days later. At the end of the development stage, Block 1 will release EOS.EO software under open source software license. On the 1st of June 2018, EOS tokens will become non-transferable. 15% of votes with EOS tokens will create EOS platform. What is currently criticized about EOS? What is currently admired? Advantages. 
In case of success, there are many advantageous characteristics EOS blockchain possesses. Team behind EOS, Block1 and Dan Larmier certainly have needed experience. This enormous amount of money collected by EOS can be used to rival Ethereum. Project moves very fast. Disadvantages Daniel Aramir is criticized for leading blockchain projects and then abandoning them. Steemit and BitShares are examples. EOS is criticized for one year long initial coin offering and for allocating 10% of tokens to team. EOS has collected huge pile of cash that is too much for blockchain project. More than 3 million ethers. Why do they need it for? So many. Project promises a lot. The problem is if they can actually deliver. And we are moving to the last slide of my presentation. Let's take a look at what EOS team has achieved since May 2017. May 2017, project was announced. Dan Larimer made his famous presentation in Consensus 2017. <clears throat> June 2017 until now, ICOF EOS has already collected more than 3 million EFERS. June 2017, EOS got listed on digital exchanges. Currently, token is listed on the most prestigious and liquid digital exchanges in the world. September 2017, EOS testnet released and EOS Dawn, Dawn 1.0 got released. It included documentation, guides for developers, site update, and 10,000 transactions per second. Also, developers could test the networks since uh, that month. November 2017, EOS capitalization reached $1 billion. Currently, it exceeds $4.7 billion. Even after the fall of the whole cryptocurrency market capitalization from $800 billion to $283 billion. December 2017, EOS Dawn 2.0 released. It includes a lot of things, but particularly important changes were made to SDK, general infrastructure, management, and governance. January 2018, Block.1 announced the creation of $50 million fund that will finance the development of dApps, on the platform. I think that money is a great incentive for blockchain developers to start creating their, their decentralized apps on EOS. And first quarter of 2018, uh, Block1 plans to publish EOS Dawn 3.0. They promise to include delayed transactions, stake in pools, currency contract, and a new emerging token standard. And uh, in June 2018, they plan to, to publish the EOS 1.0 version. Well, thanks for listening or reading until the end. In the nearest future, I will create another video and blog post on Steemit called Why EOS Will Be Huge Long Term, where I will make economic forecasts and compare EOS to other platforms. So subscribe and follow. Um, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.